Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I'm coming back for what I hope will be the last video today. I know you guys may be getting tired of me, but this is a, another segment of QO's Craft Corner! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I know I'm so corny, you guys, but yeah. I did mention um, a while back that I had uh, made a bunch of earrings over the holidays. And so I wanted to come today to show you what I made. Um, first thing I'm going to share with you, I, I mentioned that I made a pair of the calla lily earrings, but much smaller for my mother because she doesn't like big earrings. I cannot get this picture off of my camera right now because it's on the internal memory. But I do have the picture and I want to show it to you if you can see not the best Let's see if I can make it bigger okay see you on my camera want to be difficult um, yeah but I made them with red there's another picture I made them with red leather and I made them much bigger I mean not much bigger but I made them really tiny um, I wish you could see this better so but I, I can't get it to come up any better so sorry guys um, let's see that's a bigger blow up of one but it's not that good. But yeah, if I get a chance to get these off of the camera, then I will definitely post them in another video. First pair of earrings I want to show you I'm really excited about because I feel like they were a collaboration between me and my father. Um, he was really excited and he we were talking about, you know, manipulating the leather and, and different things to do. So um, I was making this pair that I'm wearing that are shaped sort of like a leaf. Let me take one off. So it's kind of a really weird kind of organic looking spiral if you see that and then the bottom part is like a leaf shape at the end and it's scrunched up so I molded this um, leather so that it looked more you know like like a wrinkled leaf and then my father was like well why don't you like add some kind of like lines or texture to the leather as well so I etched out those you know like the center kind of vein and then some side veins if you can notice that and so this is what I came up with I feel like I need to work on this design a little more because they're so lightweight and they kind of sometimes dangle the wrong way so I've been still manipulating and playing with these but I still think they're really pretty and I really like them so that's the first pair the next pair um, in keeping with the whole calla lily thing like the ones I made for my mother I made some more calla lily ones in this pink leather that was some of the leather my father had stored away I that's the back part I actually kept the inside part the suede as the suede side of the leather for the flower I just thought it looked more petal like or whatever and I used gold wire through the edge and out the center and the bead at the tip is a like a silver bead, a rose kind of colored metal, and then a little gold one at the very tip. So I'll put these on, even though you guys are pretty much familiar with how they look. So that's these. And they're in like a really rosy pink color. They look probably red on camera, but they're actually pink. All right. The next pair are similar to one of the first pairs I ever made with the triangle with the centerpiece strip or whatever. So this is what they look like. There's a piece of purple leather that I got from my dad. Some gold wire spiraled around. And this looks kind of tealish or charcoal gray on camera, but it looks kind of teal in public or in person. But when you look at the back, it's actually the reverse suede side of this textured piece of black leather that I also got from my father and I decided to use the gold as just a really nice accent because I think it really popped out of these dark colors instead of this I was gonna do silver but I just decided to go with gold so that's what these look like I think they're kinda different uh, with the color combination I really was just playing the colors off of each other to see how they looked and I ended up liking it so that's why I did these so that's those. The next pair, really simple pair that I came up with. Um, this leather is some leather that I got from an Etsy store. And I will do a haul, but I need to pull up the information from those stores. And I don't have the information right now. So I'm going to do a leather haul another day. But 
they're just really simple. I wanted to create kind of like a hoop, but with leather. So they're this interesting blue, and if you can see, they kind of have this little textury thing going on the top. And I think that was actually something that happened to the leather to kind of give it that sort of distressed look. And um, I ended up making it work. The person that sold it to me, they told me that something kind of got stuck to the leather, and they tried their best to clean it off because they knew I wanted bright colors. But um, I ended up, it actually worked for me. So this is what I came up with. And this would be a design that could be easy to make and you could do lots of things with it. Um, I could make it in other colors. I could add more loops and create a fuller look. So I'm really happy with how these came out. And these would go really well with like some jeans and a t-shirt or, you know, you could do various things with them. But they kind of have that denim blue kind of look to them. So that's this pair. The next pair that I have are made out of purple leather. Um, the same purple that was in that previous pair, I also used to create um, sort of a different little cutout kind of design. Uh, I used the suede side instead of the leather side. This is the leather side. But I decided that the suede side created an interesting um, look with this bead which is a really pretty purple bead. And I actually got this bead from a bracelet that I bought at a clearance. I want to say maybe at New York and Company or some store like that. Um, they was in the clearance bin, very cheap. I didn't like the bracelet because it was too bulky for my taste, but I love the beads. So I decided to buy it and just keep it for the beads. And so I'm finally able to use those now. So I did an interesting kind of trapezoid, sort of rounded on the edge cutout um, with the center cutout so that you can really see the bead in the center and I use some silver beads to kind of make it pop a little bit so here these are so I was just playing around with some different shapes and cut out kind of designs and wanting to add different elements to the leather earring so putting the beads in I think gave it a different kind of silhouette so that's those and in keeping with the purple leather and not being wasteful, I took the scraps from those other earrings. I had a couple like strips left and I decided I wanted to use them in some way. So I ended up cutting them up into little pieces, like sort of try to keep them sort of rectangle or square shape, but they ended up kind of random. Um, and I ended up making these. Now, if you've ever seen those kind of earrings that are made from like little pieces of shell, or those um, little pieces of, of um, chip beads. This is kind of what I was trying to create, but with leather. And I used purple beads in between, and I was just gonna use the purple beads, but I decided to add the silver as an extra little pop to help it stand out a little bit more. So um, they're not very long. I can make these a lot longer or do a lot more with the little pieces. I could put the pieces on like a hoop instead of just straight down. Or like I said, I can make these a lot longer um, but I like them because you really, from the distance, you wouldn't think that was leather. You would think it was, like I said, like the chip beads or either little shell pieces. So that's that. Also, when I was looking around on Etsy, I saw that someone had made a leather ring. So I studied their design and I came up with one. It's pretty much made the same way they made theirs, I'm assuming. I don't know how they um, are holding theirs together. I just glued mine and I added a... Um, added a little bead silver bead just kind of as an accent to give it a little more but if you can see that's what it looks like that's what it looks like Ooh, there it is on the hand that's the ring it can go on my middle finger or on my you can wear it on your first finger if you want or you could wear it on your ring finger and the cool thing about this ring is it's just a nice kind of casual ring and I think it, it could be unisex like guys could I think guys would easily wear this ring a guy would rock this you know you could stud it up a little bit more you could add more you know like where I put the little bead here I could put more beads down the side bling it out a little bit if you will you could do some things with this design so I really like that you can make it thicker or thinner probably more thinner than thicker I'd say that's what it looks like on the inside it's very soft and comfortable so it's not like hard and in the way so that's the ring and it kind of you know goes well with the earring and the last pair that I'm going to share with you real quick um, are actually made from three components so we have beads 
leather and some recycled denim fabric that I had. I had cut up some denim skirts a while ago and uh, just hadn't done anything with the fabric and had been wanting to and was going to try to figure out some way to incorporate it into earrings. And I've been playing around with some things and then I finally just came up with this idea. So here they are. This is the part that's the denim. It's different colors of dark and light denim. And then there's a leather piece holding together. That's navy blue leather. And then I made this kind of spiral out of wire and put some different seed beads on it in like blue and light blue and clear seed beads. These are very long. They're like eye-catching kind of earrings. They're like shoulder dusters. So if you were to, you know, someone wearing these, like me, I like long earrings. If you know, if I made these for someone else, I'd have to make them shorter if they don't like long earrings. But I love how they came out. I can't wait to rock these. Like I said, you could rock these with denim or, you know, you could do other things with them as well. But I thought they'd be really pretty with like a strapless dress in the summertime or whatever. I have lots of denim um, dresses and things like that. So that's how these turned out and so that's everything I have made so far I am working on some new things and of course I will share them with you and as always if you have questions or comments please post them below I would try to respond to your questions I still currently am not making jewelry for selling but I am kind of my wheels are turning I'll put it that way um, but again I just don't want to put crap out there so I want to make sure that if I decide to go that route I can keep a store stock because I'm a pretty busy person um, so I would have to really commit some time to that and I would just like I said want to make sure I'm putting quality items out I wouldn't want to be selling people just any old thing so that's why I'm still working on my designs alright guys I will see you in the next video which will not be today I hope alright bye guys